Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel. Today I'm going to be playing one of O'Carolan's most famous tunes, She Bake and She Moe. Turlock O'Carolan was a blind Irish harper in the 18th century and he used to travel around the country and he would write tunes for the people who he stayed with. So he had lots of rich patrons and he'd go to their house and he would write a tune for them and um, they would put him up and probably give him um, some money and uh, a lot of the tunes that he wrote are still played today. Um, I'm not sure how many but uh, there's a good, a good number of them and this is probably one of the best known. Shebeg and Shemur uh, is Gaelic and it means uh, Big Fairy, Little Fairy and it refers to uh, two mountains in Ireland, I'm not sure exactly where. It's in 3-4 time but it's not strictly a waltz because the waltz didn't come until uh, at least a century after he was writing. I'm going to run through the basic tune and then we'll look at some of the ornamentation you can put on it. So, uh, let's look from the beginning. A lot of the first finger F sharps you can slide up to ever so slightly. And then we've got what's called a double cut. So we're flicking first finger and a third finger on. Like that. And then a hammer on. Another double cut. Double cut. Another one. Another slide. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I suppose you call that more than a hammer on. Another double cut. Incidentally, uh, why am I calling it a double cut? Why not just a cut? A, a cut is when you put a single flick of a note like that. Uh, if there's two notes before the main melody note, then you call that a double cut. And you always slur into the, uh, the melody note.
So you've got the repeat and then it's into the second half and another slide. There. Another double cut. And that's probably one of the biggest slides, the fourth finger. Maybe a little hammer on there. Double cut. And you can do a, a drone here, an A drone under the E note. And um, a little slide down from the D to the B. I think it's quite nice. Another little uh, open string drone there. And a hammer on. And um, all of these are just possibilities. Uh, I certainly wouldn't learn um, all of the ornaments and then play them the same every time. Your target should be to be able to put ornaments in or out as you feel. So that on the A and the B, uh, sorry, when you do a, the repeat of the A section for example, you don't do it exactly the same as you did the first time and likewise with the B section. And every single time you play it, you should be able to do it slightly differently, which makes it more fun for you and more fun for everyone else as well. And um, just use the ornaments as a form of expression to, um, to give it the emotion that you feel that it, uh, it needs, and that might change from day to day. So I hope you enjoyed Shebeg and Shemur. Um, if you want a copy of the dots, with most of the ornaments that I've uh, put in, then if you subscribe and send me an email, uh, my email address is at the bottom of the description below the video. And uh, you can also get a copy of the backing track if you um, become a patron on Patreon, where you can get all of my MP3s and uh, potentially all of my backing tracks as well, depending on what level you decide to come in at. So I hope to see some of you on Patreon, and I hope to see all of you on my next video. See you soon.